the poor shooting from the team? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, obviously our, our defense is probably a little ahead of our offense right now. Um, and so we have to continue to work on that. But I think it's important to understand you have to win games a lot of different ways. And so if we're not shooting well, we, we have to do it with our defense, our rebounding, taking care of the ball, that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, obviously there's a lot of room for improvement for us. Did you, we were preseason game, a lot of emotions given the situation. Did you feel like there was more emotion in this one than regular preseason game? I, mean, I think the, the fact that they're, they're really good, you know, so it's, it's uh, we knew it would be a, a tough game. It's, it's a good test for us. It shows us exactly where we are. And so it shows us the things that we're going to have to work on and get better at. Uh, but uh, I like the competitiveness of the game. I think they're a terrific team. My name is Marcela from Raios do Basquete Brasil. And I want to know what do you think current and Taos can bring to the, to the team that is different from Julius Handel? I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Of course. What do you think current and Taos can bring to the team that is different of uh, Julius Handel? Uh, Carl Anthony Towns? Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, I think there are different players uh, in some ways, but similar in others. I think Jill, Julius is more of a power forward, but a terrific player. Like he's, you know, when you look at you know what he did for us, it, this, it's the scoring, the passing, the rebounding, but it's at the power forward position. And we had a, a, a great need, obviously, with with uh, you know Mitch, Mitchell Robinson being out and Isaiah, you know. Uh, losing Isaiah in free agency, we needed a center. And so uh, that's that was a big part of it. So I think the center position uh, is, you know, probably, and when I look at Carl, I like his versus the, the size, I think, is important for us. Uh, yeah, so. Tom, it was caught on camera, I have to ask this. Do you have a comment on Dante and Ricks having to be separated at the end of the game? I, I didn't see it. I, you know, it's, you know, I know two competitive guys, so stuff like that does happen. Tom, uh, during the game, you already said competitive guy. Uh, the cameras also caught, or at least appeared to catch that Dante was talking, at least in your direction, saying that's what happens when they let you run the show. Uh, do you make anything more of that other than just as competitive? Two guys player? talking. That's it. You know, I don't pay any attention to that stuff. I think the, the important thing is to lock into what your job is and what you have to do. So don't 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 get distracted. You know, that doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. Coach, what have what have been your thoughts on Landry Shamet throughout the training camp and also what are your biggest takeaways of what he's been able to contribute to your team? Yeah, I like our bench a lot. And so uh I think Landry, Cam, they have great chemistry. When you add in Deuce, uh, and you, you also have Tyler Kolick, who's played really well in the preseason as well. And then the, the two bigs that have been playing with him, Precious and Jericho, have done a really good job. And Ariel has given us some good minutes as well. So I like that the, they, they're versatile, that we can use different guys bringing the ball up. We have shooting, we have speed. Uh, we can play fast. We can play out of multiple pick and rolls, uh, dribble handoffs. They move well without the ball. They play off each other. Uh, and they're very quick defensively, too, disruptive. So it changes the, uh, the, the speed of the game. All right, thanks, Coach. Yeah, thank you.